print is done, but your job isn't over yet. Post-processing is actually one of the most essential steps in 3D printing. It ensures the accuracy of your print and also the health of your patients. So in your first step, you're going to just take the whole build platform and place it inside your cleaning. In the first wash cycle, we can remove over 90% of all excess residue. So go ahead and set your cleaning for three minutes. After our first wash cycle, it's time to remove the print from the build platform. So I'll take it out of the cleaning. I'll place it in front of me. To remove it, I can either use a knife or a spatula like this. I'm trying to get under the print here, right here and make sure it comes off in one nice piece. Now that you have your print, you're gonna place it in your cleanie again for a second wash cycle to make sure that all residue resin is gone. Now that our second wash cycle is finished, we're gonna take out our finished print And we're going to have to blow dry it. Why do we do that? We do that because we want to make sure once we place it in our curing oven that there is no discoloration. So really make sure that your print is dry. Once your 3D print is all dried, we're going to place it inside the UV oven. This step is essential to make sure that all resin is entirely polymerized and it's safe for intraoral use. So let's put it in here. You're going to pick Material Library, Curo, and then select your resin. In this case, we use Guide. Once our UV oven is finished curing, we'll take out our The last step now is to remove the supports, either with a knife or with pliers. You want to make sure that you get really close to the point where the supports meet the dental application. This is the perfect example of a validated printing workflow. We finished our 3D print and we used our post-processing equipment. Now, your dental application is finally suitable for intraoral use.